everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and if you've been here from the very start of my channel, you have listened to that introduction for the last 10 years. Apart from the weird moment last year where I switched up to High Legends and then got so much feedback that you lot absolutely hated it and it felt a little bit too parasocial. Anyways, my main point being, I've been doing YouTube videos for the last 10 years. I started this when I got back from university for my Christmas holidays during my second year of uni and I've never looked back since. I uploaded my very first part of a Let's Play on the 15th of December 2013. We are now in the year of our Lord and Saviour, the Eras Tour of 2023, and so I decided why not carry on that, that parasocialness and actually go back and look at what some of you lot have said about my videos throughout the last 10 years. AKA, this is replying to old comments. I'm really excited. I really said I am about to bless my subscribers or my viewers maybe 10 years down the line with a little reply to their comment. I just thought this was a super cute video idea. I always have loved replying to comments. It's still one of my favorite things about YouTube. It's why I have continued to do YouTube and also Twitch. I just love hanging out with you guys and chatting away. I mean, we all know I can talk. This is not brand new information, so let's get into it. We are gonna start off with the very first video on my channel. This is the Sims three late night part one meeting the neighbors oh my god it's all come full circle we were living in an apartment back then in bridgeport we're living in apartments again right now in for don't ask me why it says nine years ago that is a lie it is literally the 15th whilst i'm recording this i know it's going live on the 16th i guess it's probably because i uploaded this at 6 p.m so it's not saying that it's been 10 years ago yet Oof. i have never felt 10 years ago more than i do in this video right here watching this in 2017 it's amazing how far you've come and how confident you've become tell that to the person who sits here every day before hitting my record button like oh my god I'm not funny anymore oh my god the internet hates me oh my god but hey I will take the compliment I am gonna respond with a cheeky little love you too thanks for still supporting after all these years if I could spell this video it would go so much smoother it'd be really embarrassing if they get back to me like bestie I don't support anymore because that was a solid six years ago this one is kind of iconic, not gonna lie. This makes me feel a lot better because my videos look and sound right this right now. My videos used to have the black bars. I hadn't even figured out like how my, I used to record with fraps, but I actually know ratios now, which is a great time. Don't worry, we all start somewhere. I'm glad this helped bestie. Oh my God, Gail, thank you so, so much for telling me that my video was a little bit quiet. That was so true. But I I finally got there in the end with my audio. Glad everyone that stuck with me. Oh my word, Millie, that is such a flex. I hope you become a big simmer with loads of subscribers so I can say I was your 60th subscriber. Hope you're still subscribed though. It's hilarious to me that I still get this now to this day. Whenever I have to give my name, I have to say Molly with an IE or else people just will automatically spell it with a Y, which I have grown less to care about. But when it's like actually something that like matters and the spelling does need to be correct. It's so annoying. Oh, Julian, stop. You know you have a great friend when they comment on your very first video. Thanks, Julian. Can't believe we're still here. 10 years later. Remember when these types of videos were a thing? I'm fairly sure this update was basically just to tell people that I was sick and that's why I wasn't uploading much. Also throwback to when I was convinced I was a blonde. Why is this person watching my December update in 2023? You didn't even watch this in December. How did you find this? Ugh, Jump Scare by Ellie Goulding. Why did my Elsa, or is this my Anna Sim, start out as Ellie Goulding. 3.5 million views. <laughs> Finally, someone who spells Kristoff right and awesome sims. They look just like the original. Too bad I did not know that man's last name. I don't even know how people found out Kristoff's last name. Like, was it in the credits? I will hold my hands up and say I have not watched Frozen in a hot minute. Aura 9 looks like Josh Hutzerton as Peter from Hunger Games. I have to see it. <laughs> 
It does look like Peter. The funny thing is, I literally did like a Hunger Games create a sim, I think in The Sims 4, and it looked absolutely nothing like him. I simply cackled. I feel like this comment just like sums up the time that my Frozen creator sim was made, like 2013 Tumblr, Super Hulock. What a time. Speak of the devil, here they are, Jelsa. Oh my God, Sasha, what a little sweetheart. Oh my God, fancy simmer. I'm such a big fan. Oh, three years ago, because I've been stuck at home, I'm definitely spending my time walking down memory lane. Stop, that is so cute. I truly am so, so glad that Jelsa and my generation's Let's Play kind of became like a full comfort series to so many people. I also think she's the reason I play The Sims. If you had taken like a screenshot of this comment section and given it to like six-year-old Molly who first got her hands on The Sims, I would not believe you that this is my channel or like this is what I've got to do for a living for like the last 10 years and like the wild experiences that I have had by playing my favorite game franchise. And it's all because of people like this. And the fact that I was part of the reason you got into The Sims and like this incredible franchise is just unreal to me. I'm honored to have played a part in you finding my favorite franchise ever. Ooh, I feel like this one's gonna be interesting. The Sims 4 official create a sim demo walkthrough. Yeah, you know what, Danny? That's absolutely fair and valid. Those were absolutely dark times when we didn't have toddlers in The Sims 4. We also didn't have ghosts. We didn't have pools. We didn't have so much. We only had babies tied to bassinets. 2023 and that that preset that I used in this video. I also used it forever in my Let's Play The Sims 4. Still my favorite like facial preset to this day. I do wonder if anyone is actually gonna reply to these comments. That would be so funny. Secretly just reigniting my comment sections on old videos. Just a shame that we can't actually place them all around the body and where we want to. Womp womp. We didn't get swimwear in The Sims 4 because we didn't have fools. Whenever I see uh, the phrase tank top, I just think of that old Miley Cyrus video where she just repeats, it's like a tank top. But yeah, we call them vest tops in the UK. But I fully get where like not understanding my accent comes from. <laughs> I wanted to go check out the Sims 4 gallery as well and see if there's any like random questions that people have left and or respond to people over there too. I wanted to do it with the Sims 3 exchange, but there wasn't really a commenting system. Why did I decide to do this? Because this just means I have to look at all the like cringe stuff that I used to say back in the day. He's just looking to play the field. Why did I say that? It wasn't even like it was a pun on him being athletic because he's not even athletic. He does look a little bit like Johnny's so. I feel like this is Johnny if Johnny grew up the way that Nancy wanted him to. I don't like that you can't like properly reply to people. Here's an outgoing Sim who's ready to mingle. She looks like Emma Crank. Again, that's because of the face preset. She's really pretty, uh, but her face is a uh, kind of cartoony. I feel like this is valid criticism considering we weren't really used to the art style of The Sims 4 yet. <gasps> the real ones, no. Cupquake literally said, first create some demo video I watched and loved it. Yolanda's amazing. Whilst all of these fake fans are in the comments being like, this is Emma, you just changed her name. Before she was Emma, she was Yolanda. Oh, of course we all made a sim self. This was my very first sim self. I want to use you in my black widow challenge. <laughs> Am I the widow or am I one of the sims that you are killing off? Go for it. You ever want to use me in any of your challenges? Feel free. Just discovered your Black Widow playthrough. Wanted to use Eden but couldn't find her so I used your sim self as victim number 10. Oh, how I love being a woman and being slayed by people. You all really did say death to English simmer. It also doesn't look anything like me. You lot were being far too kind. There they are. The cranks the very first sims that i played my sims 4 let's play with even emma is not prego damn was she meant to be prego did i miss the memo if only the crank lp was still going <sighs> hint hint 
<laughs> I actually wrapped that up pretty quick. I wonder if she named him after Teen Wolf's Tyler Posey. That is a good question that I can't actually remember the answer to. I'm fairly sure Posey was like a randomly generated name. And then I just decided to name him Tyler because Tyler sounded good with Posey. But it probably sounded good in my brain because I was used to Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf. Bright Modern Kitchen. That is anything but bright. Please share how to do the round edges on islands have tried for hours. You hit the little cog icon by the counters in build mode and then it comes up with a bunch of different ones. I think there's like eight or nine different options and that's how you get the rounded ones. The more you know. Sorry that it is nine years late. Or you can just head over and go watch James's tutorial formerly known as The Sim Supply. This was my base game version of Taylor Swift which looks absolutely nothing like Taylor Swift. It looks like Taylor Swift if she had a baby with an alien in The Sims 4. But Red deserved a Grammy. So true. Beautiful. I can see her wearing that black hat. Oh my god. What if I get the 22 hat when I go see her next year? Can you make Katie? Sorry, I was too scarred clearly from Katy Perry Sweet Treats and that's the reason I never got around to making Katy Perry in The Sims 4. Some rooms are kind of empty. Well, Storm of Air, let's see. No, you're right. They do look pretty empty. <laughs> Lil Miss Kel, I don't have a YouTube account, so please read this, Molly. I can't subscribe or like or tell you how much I love you. Lil Miss Kel, I have seen it now. RJ, why did you point this out? Why did this gallery do that? Why is Maya's husband a child? So this is Maya, and she was married to Tyler. This is literally their kid. I'm fairly sure her name was like Ellie. But then when you actually like click on on Tyler, he comes up as his like kid sim self. What happens if you put him in create a sim? Does he come up as a child? Update it and make Louise a young adult and Ellie a teen and Tom and Emma dead. <laughs> dead ass. He doesn't load as a child. That's so confusing. You are such a great builder. How do you build these things? I don't know how you lot had the confidence to hype me up so much. I truly did the bare minimum on this house. I am not a builder and I stand by that fact. Theo's pregnant in this. I always forget that Theo had an alien baby. Get to work. What a time that was. That was when abductions were happening so frequently in The Sims 4. And now they like rarely ever happen unless you specifically go out of your way to work in the scientist career or interact with aliens. I feel like I never see aliens around anymore. I have heard that when it comes to a cult, if you don't interact with them like frequently, the game will kind of stop spawning them. I have no words. <laughs> Six years later, I also do not have words. That antlers though, they were kind of a sub. This was genuinely so, so much fun. I love having these little trips down memory lane. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to do this for 10 years. For any comments you may have ever left anywhere, be it like Twitter, YouTube, over on my Sims 4 gallery, like I genuinely would have got this amazing experience without all of you lot. So I cannot thank you enough. I'm not gonna say here's to another 10 years. <laughs> we'll see how the future of the franchise goes. But honestly, it's just such a pinch yourself moment. And I cannot believe that I am in this position. And I've been able to do this for 10 years. Get people into The Sims, which is honestly just like such an honor. This feels too wholesome for an anniversary video. I feel like every Every anniversary video that I've done recently has been like roasting my old sims or reacting to my old videos and like making fun of myself. Whereas this one was just like really, really wholesome. It got a little bit chaotic when we were checking out my gallery, but thank you all so much. I genuinely could never thank you enough. So I'm gonna stop trying, but I really, really do appreciate every single one of you and any support you have given me over the years. If you aren't subscribed, hey, now's the time to do it. 10 years into my YouTube journey. Thank you all so much for being here and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.